I'm about actually that. like really excited about Birds of Prey. I'm a little sad that obviously you know we talked about how Warner Brothers didn't have a presence at San Diego Comic Con this mm-hmm. year, but I'm excited about Birds of Prey. Kathy Yan, her sort of like big budget feature debut. Mm-hmm. Margot Robbie, this amazing cast. Hugh McGregor will be in it right. uh, as Black Mask. But Chad Stahelski is coming on board to coordinate and shoot some new action sequences. Okay, okay. But you know it's going to take that movie from a, like a 9.8 to like a To 10. a John 2, Wick. To a Wick. <laughs> 9.8 <laughs> to yeah. a John Wick. To a Parabellum. <laughs> yeah. uh, but I'm, I'm really excited about this. I think it's really great. Th- this, this team, 8711, which is the name of his company, mm-hmm. they've already been working on this movie since the beginning of production. But... They really wanted Chad Stahelski to come in to run second unit, which is normal to have second unit sort of doing like action sequences and stuff. Oh, hi. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Uh, To have them come in and have him basically direct brand new action sequences for the movie, Mm -hmm. which I think it's great to have that awareness of, great, we already have potentially a great movie. Let's let's pump it up with some more action. Let's bring this cast back. And it's so normal for movies to do additional photography or reshoots and all that stuff. Um, So I'm excited for the action. I think it's an especially good fit for the birds of prey brand, like Mm -hmm. the, the sort of more street level, you know, Gotham nitty gritty, Gotham city, nitty gritty, like, hardcore uh, ass kickers mm-hmm. that are Black Canary and Harley Quinn is involved in that and Huntress and these mm-hmm. types of characters right. that, that that throw down in that more sort of vicious way versus yeah. being like superhero fantasy action stuff yeah. like Shazam or Aquaman or whatever. So Where it's like it, wires so and crazy. For sure, you know, for sure. Which is, which is cool too. Like yeah. I, I'm super into the weird crazy stuff that they did for Aquaman yeah. oh, to, to, so to get him to be underwater. And then yeah. I just watched all the special features on Shazam and like mm-hmm. that cool little uh, tuning fork that they make for, mm-hmm. when, for when actors have to fly. fly. Yeah. And so yeah. they like, they <clears> turn them this way and they can kind of lean and do yeah. and that yeah. stuff's great. But, Birds of Prey is that like hard yeah. hitting, oh, yeah. knuckle beating, John Wick, very much exactly. John Wick. So that, that's why I'm glad fight. hearing about yeah. this. I feel like it's 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 time for these movies. I feel like oh, well, another big thing happened this weekend. I saw I saw Endgame for the second time. <laughs> <laughs> for okay. the first time because it okay. came out on Blu-ray. Okay. So I bought it. I watched it for my 10th time <laughs> I know, this weekend. I know. Yeah. Second viewing, guys. I think I was on, Second number, I think I was on number eight last yeah. time I saw <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. And that wow. just happened last – oh, two days ago. Nice. Wow. And so it was my second viewing. But even even that, like, I feel like I'm ready for the DC universe to, like, Absolutely. come into its own. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I, I really feel like this is a good opportunity for them to – Ha- take everything that has happened in the past yeah. Yeah. and and also realize what has happened in the Marvel Cinematic Universe mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and learn from it. And I w- this is going to be really interesting to watch this tonal change, directional change. Like, what are they going to do with this? Like, e- ever since all of that previous DCEU stuff happened, mm-hmm. John Wick has exploded. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that style of action, that, oh. raid, that raid style of action is very popular Chapter now. Chapter 3 is so ridiculous. I, don't, <laughs> I haven't seen that one yet. But I, I, don't see, I don't see Marvel or Disney adapting that style. Right. So, why don't Not we... Not yet, yeah. Right. Ex- and they, I don't think they actually will too much. <laughs> uh, but it's a perfect opportunity for DC to grab a hold of this kind of stuff and, and let people go into a... A, a direction that feels more genuine rather than like the forced where the anti Disney thing, mm-hmm. you know? right, right, right. So yeah. this is going to be great. Joker's coming out soon. Like we're yeah. going to see if they start hitting into the direction with Elseworlds or I'm really curious. About what are that. they going to do to differentiate themselves from the Suicide Squad? You mm-hmm. know, like there's mm-hmm. there's going to be so much stuff coming out, which I'm. I feel like I'm excited for now, now mm-hmm. that I don't have this the 10-year conclusion of the Marvel <laughs> Cinematic <laughs> Universe coming down. So I'm just like, cool, yep. <clears throat> let's decompress a little bit. Let's watch something a little bit different, mm-hmm. and let's get excited again because I feel like it's time. Yeah, I agree. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what DC is going to do going forward because exactly what you're saying, we've now gone through 10 years of sort of this like Marvel Cinematic mm-hmm. Universe, and there's obviously more Marvel stuff coming. Yeah, yeah. But we're really Marvel's really going to start exploring new characters, new yeah. worlds. They're going to yeah. sprinkle in things like Doctor Strange, Black Panther, right, right, yeah, right. and Thor, and we kind of already have an idea of what that's going to feel like. Yeah. Whereas with this, you know, Birds of Prey with a new creative team, new director, right. and going mm-hmm. forward with sort of all their movies, yeah. unless they're sequels to something that's come before, it's all going to be new people. So I'm excited to see what those directors bring to the table. Right. And yeah, and what do they do differently? Like if you have a street level 
heroes and villains, how do you showcase that visually on screen? And make us really care about it as yeah. well. Like that's Even if it's just a cool visual style, like – you don't have to go as extreme as Spider Verse to mm -hmm. to sh have a cool visual right. style, yeah. right, right, right. But like you can always do something. Like Tarantino's got a very definite style. Like we know all these legendary directors who have their looks. Mm -hmm. Like you can you can bring that kind of stuff, which mm -hmm. I feel is what Joker is gonna do. Like yeah, that Joker so. yeah. has a very definite look and feel. I hope so. Uh, so I feel like they decide to go into something like that. Like. As much as it is a comic book movie, let's let the directors do some stuff too. And that's mm -hmm. something that Warner Brothers has talked about that they are really striving to to be as a director's yeah. studio, right. yeah. which would be awesome. Sometimes yeah. it's like it's, it's a hard, hit and miss man. sometimes. Exactly. But I think if you have people from both sides who are very collaborative and right. really take the time to understand the property and are also just fans of the property. Right. Exactly. Like you have an Ava DuVernay who's like, I love the new gods. Right. I love, right. you know, Mr. Miracle and yeah. all these yeah. other characters. Big Barda. Big yeah. Barda, yeah. Right. So like yeah. that enthusiasm. And to me, it bodes very, very well for, for movies like that. Right. Mm -hmm. And with someone like Kathy Ann, I have no clue if she's a fan of, fan of Birds of yeah. Prey. Mm -hmm. I, I would assume that she is if she has any yeah. interest right. in doing it. Yeah, I would and, imagine. And sure. as a director whose work I'm not familiar with, I'm excited right. to see, cool, what does this director do with her movie? And this property, yeah. And this property yeah. for me to understand, like, oh, that's a Kathy Ann movie. Right. I know exactly. exactly what that is. Exactly. And Defining also – Defining her style, I and guess. And also, like, it's it, – it, I feel like we've said this before, but they don't necessarily have to stick to any Birds of Prey, like, previous comic book stories. It's because adapting. I, yeah, exactly. Because yeah. Birds of Prey, as much as it has a, f a big a, a fandom behind it, it's not a huge fandom. So I don't feel like people are going to get super upset if they mm -hmm. don't follow a particular storyline. Right. I feel like these are th the type of characters that you have a lot of creative license with. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And you can they're really lesser just known. yeah, exactly. They're lesser known. You for can sure. really just like bring them in and do do your thing. And yeah. I I I know pe some people are averse to change, but there you can also tell really cool stories that adapt just like we've seen other it's, movies adapt it, elements yeah, of it, other cool stories yeah. it could be a pos a, a potential for them i mean i guess in the same way suicide squad what? was potentiality uh, some potentiality the in there potentiality for warner brothers to come out with a movie series it's like oh and now here's a bunch of characters you didn't know that you loved, loved mm -hmm. yeah. right exactly. you don't know the birds of prey characters again i'm comparing them to guardians of the galaxy mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that same thing happened right. there Different from the comic books, same enough to definitely be Marvel. Mm -hmm. You watch that movie and you go, this is Marvel Cosmic. This is 100% Rocket mm -hmm. Raccoon mm -hmm. and Drax and Gamora. Oh, my God. They nailed it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's also like a pretty different pre Peter Quill. Yeah. You know, Groot's a yeah. little bit different yeah. here and there. Drax is a little, little things here mm -hmm. and there to really just kind of boil those characters down to some essences. Right. Mm -hmm. Could happen with Birds of Prey. Absolutely. Could come out with a movie series, a, a, a movie that has characters that people had no idea that were around. Yeah. And all of a sudden and become huge fans of right. these characters. Right. I hope DC Comics put a bunch of uh, classic Birds of Prey stuff back into print. Like I know that uh, that like yeah. Yeah. like build awareness. My, like my friend Amy Dallin had a lot of uh, l love for this series and frustration too because she works at a comic book store and it's like that's a series that has been tricky to like find. And it's like, yeah, okay, exactly. is it because the strategy is to like wait for the movie mm -hmm. to come out and then just come kind of bombard us with time. a bunch right, of stuff? Right, right. That would be the time. Yeah. Right, right, right. I think also you know you were talking about. Peter Quill. You also look at Chris Pratt. The actors are going to come in, and they're going to yeah, <laughs> they're going to absorb so much stuff from the comic yeah. books and the yeah. different versions and different writers and right. what different writers have done with those characters and boil down sort of like, well, what are what do I relate to the most right. exactly. from the comic book? Like exactly. How how can I take little elements that I know that I can yeah. make in my own but still be faithful to the character? Right. Exactly. And I think that stuff exactly. is also very very important. It's, it's absolutely important, and 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 I think that we have come to realize that the boiling of the character down to his essence is yes. really the most important thing. Yes. Yeah. What they actually do is up to you. Like right. you right, right, right. you take what you feel that character would do in mm -hmm. their essence yeah. and then adapt it to a story, which I'm all down for. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, th you can get some really cool stories that way. So, And then you throw in some of that John Wick action. Dude, and come. That's mm. all I can think of in my head right now. Just like yeah. guns popping <laughs> and like – People getting smashed in the face. Yeah. Plus, I think I'm I'm, f I'm excited to see how a character like Harley Quinn, Margot Robbie, because in in Suicide Squad she had yeah. the mallet and she was mostly just kind of beating people up with it. It's kind of decorative. Yeah. <laughs> and I and I thought it was fun and it had like yeah. its own character. Yeah. But I I would I can't wait to see her potential just kind of going 
full on like, just knuckle like, to knuckle, yeah. you know. Full knuckle to knuckle. I mean, she has baseball bats yeah. too. So like straight up Casey Jones in it. Yeah. Like Casey Jones good. in in the 1990s Marvel <laughs> uh, Marvel uh, <laughs> Lies Coteus. Yeah, exactly. Style. Yeah. Cricket. <laughs> you got to know what a crumpet is. What is it? We understand cricket. We understand cricket. 